Hey, junkies, what's going on? This is Riverman from BehindTheMaskPresents.com. We're coming to you on a Friday night at 11.45 p.m. Um, just because we want to uh, do a little commentary for you. Um, I'm here with Goose, of course. Hey, what's up? No love for the Goose, I was about to say. Well, uh, of course. Let me let me lead you in here. But um, we are going to be talking about some Evil Dead mm-hmm. um, cool. commentary because, of course, the new film that's coming out here on April 5th that we are so freaking pumped up about. And I want to say really quick, um, we love this original film. And it's we were just mentioning that it's one of the only films that is actually really popular, but you can't deny how good it is. And, and people still have to give it every credit it's due. You know, it's not one of those things where, oh, this is overrated or whatever. People love The Evil Dead. No matter how popular it was, people love this flick. And it's groundbreaking. When you watch it, actually, a lot of the directing, the style, the the art, it's just very... It's very groundbreaking, I think, and it's I think it's something that maybe was people tried to rip it off um, quite a few times um, and without giving it proper credit, but nobody quite succeeded. But, yeah, I mean, this new flick's coming out and, you know, we're really pumped for it. And there are some people out there that don't understand still why they're making this remake and or if you want to call it a remake but but the thing is the original evil dead wasn't i mean it still has a cult following i mean it's it's a cult movie uh, the majority of the people when you mention evil dead to the casual person they don't know what evil dead is to the you know the horror fan i'm sure they know what evil dead is but to the casual movie goer they don't know what it is so mm-hmm. um but you but this- can remake it i mean i mean <laughs> And, and and you know what though they're not remaking it. You know I've heard people ask, you know what's what's this new one going to offer? Why remake this movie? I, I and people are thinking, well I, I keep hearing people justify it by saying, well you know at least Raimi's involved and or oh it's going to re- re- change the horror game. You know what? I mean we, enough reviews are out. Which by the way the reviews are pretty unanimously good. Which I even said it would change the horror game because as much as I hate Dawn of the Dead the remake, it changed the horror game. It rejuvenated the horror the zombie genre and i mean it put horror back on the map as much as i don't like the film i give it credit for that because zack snyder did a good job doing that but um this film i'm I'm really excited about it um like you're saying a lot of people are not too excited about it but i mean you gotta you gotta realize the original script for evil dead is not a good script i mean it's average you know crappy script but it's a great film you know it's a very simple premise yeah. that gets, get, that gets their characters and the plot from point a to point b and you know it it, it does a lot of uh <laughs> crazy stuff in the process visually but well, that's what yeah. I understand when people are saying, like, oh, I can't believe they're remaking this. I can because it's such an e- easy premise. I mean, why wouldn't they? I mean – And the question – well, the question is people are asking, you know, what, what, is, a, what is a new one going to offer that the first one didn't do? If people would re- read the reviews that are out, it, it, they've taken a different twist on it. First of all, different characters. Um, the reason that all these kids are going to the, the cabin are totally different. It's actually, a, I, from what I hear, a more reasonable – <laughs> reason to go to it you know it's not as random and friends uh, want to detox or something yeah something a fact i don't know if that yeah and then uh i think the book doesn't have the face on it it's just a regular book and you know what it's not like they're they're pussing out this movie they're doing they're i under, they're doing things that they could not do 30 plus years ago on the budget they had they are they are doing the practical effects like you know like they've mentioned a million times there's no CGI and it's it, it originally got the NC17 rating and they're having to trim it down for the theatrical release which is going to give us that awesome I hear it's a hard R people are saying it's like the hardest R you'll ever see and and we're going to get that unrated blu-ray no doubt i mean the we we have to, we can't ignore that we have to give them credit you know they're not I just think they're giving a nice, fresh spin on it. And, you know, I agree. Um, is, it, is it sad that people are looking towards uh, remakes or reboots to uh, revitalize the horror genre? Probably. We need something original. But you know what? I'll take this. You have to. You have to. I mean, there's nothing else that you can count on nowadays. You know? And I want to go on. Re- I think we're. I would love to do a commentary for Evil Dead 2, which is my personal favorite of the three. Um, and I would love to do any uh, commentary as well with, for the third one, Army of Darkness, as well. Um, I think the first one is River's favorite. Mm-hmm. The first one is incredible. I think the second one has this amazing balance and bridge between that first one and the third one. Um, but 
I don't know. And then there's the really quick. There's the news about uh, it's recently. It's yeah. tongue in cheek, you know, about the new that they're still going to do Evil Dead Four or whatever. And you know, when when this is what Sam Raimi said at some uh, press conference for the new Oz flick or whatever. You know, they they question Bruce Campbell like they normally do, and you know, Bruce says the same thing he always says. He says, you know what? I don't hold my breath because Sam Raimi says this every six months that he's going to write a new script. And he said personally, I don't think he can let go of it. He's like he he's. He doesn't want to confront the fact, and he doesn't want to let go of his baby because he's so close to that franchise. And but supposedly he really wants to do it. Supposedly he's going to start writing it this summer with his brother uh, Ted Raimi. And when at, then they asked his partner um, in Ghost House Pictures, that's his uh, production film company, they asked him about it, and he said that you know what, he's really serious about doing it, but. Um, to kind of answer the question of how are you going to have two Evil Deads going on at one time because they're already going to make a sequel to this current Evil Dead coming out. They're already working on that one. And he said, well, Sam's would be called Army of Darkness 2. He's like, Army of Darkness never was Evil Dead 3. The fans started calling it that. It would be Army of Darkness 2, and we'd have, we'd have the Evil Dead films and the Army of Darkness films going at once. And that, that could work, you oh, know, God. because there is no Ash in these current Evil Dead movies. They are totally separate entities at this point. So, but anyway, that's about all I have to say about it. We're stoked about it. We can't wait for it. And hopefully this will be the start of a nice build up until the film gets here. And then we can, you know, blow it all out with a great review of that. And before we start this puppy up, I just want to say that we know this, you know, commentary and everything. People are saying, oh, it's been overdone and all that stuff. But we want to do it just because the new film's coming out. We want to throw something out there. Um, we're not going to be getting too in-depth on, oh, this shot was blah, blah, blah. No, we're just going to have fun with it. We hope you have fun with it. Sit back, you know, have a beer or drink, you know, watch it with us, and, um, you know, just enjoy. You know, and and also, it's been done a lot, but we've never done it, and ours is the best, so who cares about everybody else? Yeah, exactly. Let's let's roll into it, shall we? Okay. And um, we're going to start it... Uh, at the Renaissance Pictures presents, so as soon as it pops up, it doesn't fade in. It just bam. As soon as you, as soon as it pops up, hit the pause button. Mm-hmm. Okay, you are paused, and I will be hitting play here in five, four, three, two, one. Play. Renaissance Pictures presents. I love how old school it is with a mist. It's so, it, I mean, look look how crappy that logo. I like that though, dude. The the behind the water look. Yeah. The, yeah. It's so retro. It's so student film. And the thing is, is look at this. I mean, even but these camera shots are so revol. I think this is revolutionary. It's so cre. It reminds me of watching something like Tales from the Dark Side, the opening to a series like that. Well, what they actually did for these uh, scenes like this, uh, I was watching the real commentary. They actually. Uh, tied a, like a two by four or a camera to the two by four, pretty much ran through the woods. I mean, that's how low budget this was. These shots were. And you know, I mean, it's so. I mean, I think a million students could would make a film could make a film like this today. Yeah. Obviously, with the technology we have at our disposal now. It would look a lot better, you know, with our HD cameras and whatnot. And, you know, even even poor saps like us could even get our hands on red cameras, you know, borrow from universities or whatever. But you know what? And maybe but the, like you were talking about, this idea of the script is so simple. It's yeah. like a film. It's just point A to point B. But at the time, nobody did anything like this. Now it's like it, it's like if you hear a doom metal band now, it all sounds like Black Sabbath and it sounds cliche. It didn't sound cliche when they were doing it, and you know this wasn't cliche. I don't think when this came out. No, not yeah. at all. Now we now now how many Cabin in the Woods type movies have we had? A bajillion, you know. Lazy Mary sticker on the bumper. I love that. I love that part. Now, Bruce Campbell, he's not a great actor, but I do have to say he's come away from this. I got to give him some credit because he might be the worst actor in this. I don't know about that. They're all pretty bad. They they are bad, but I mean, it's, you know, it's the, oh, I think this is, uh, that was Sam Raimi right there. If I want to. If I know correctly, that's Sam Raimi. That's or Raimi. Yeah, if I if I listened to the commentary correctly a long time ago. 
What, drinking moonshine, dude? Look at this. Perfect, dude. <laughs> Couple of hillbillies. And you know what you know what a part of the charm is about having these low budget uh self produced movies is the fact that you don't have you know, obviously the definition of independent film is without the help of Hollywood. And without the help of Hollywood, you use local, regular actors. And these girls aren't hot. They're normal. They yeah. look really believable. Nobody in here is like hot. No, I agree. No, I I mean I, I wouldn't be all up in these chicks' business at a party, would you guys? Eh, I don't know. <laughs> Ash's girlfriend is uh she's banging. <laughs> she is banging yeah. but I, I i got i respect that i love that now you know in this new evil dead flick they're gonna look pretty yeah oh yeah i'm sure i mean they're gonna be abercrombie well maybe not abercrombie models but they're good looking they got looks about them yeah I, I don't know if you've seen within the woods but i would highly recommend youtubing that because that is freaking amazing it's so good, and if they can ever put that out on like a um, one of these Evil Dead uh, Blu-rays or whatever as a bonus feature, that would be that'd be awesome. I'm absolutely shocked that they have not done that yet. Have you Even, seen that? I've actually never watched it, and I didn't know it was on YouTube. Yeah, you should watch. It. I mean, the production quality, of course, is horrible. Um, I don't know if they if they lost the actual. Uh, I don't see. I don't know. I don't know where it is but uh i don't know why they wouldn't put it yeah i don't know why they wouldn't put it on there and include maybe that. sam raimi i don't know maybe he's not proud of it or i don't know but oh i love that stick dragon behind the car dude i always look at that dude. it's just a nice touch you can tell that was totally not planned yeah that's what i like <laughs> god and this cabin is just so damn creepy dude i love to have this cabin dude um, of course, we know we all know that the cabin burnt down and blah blah blah. People are still trying to get on the property, and they get shot by the locals. But did um, it burn down? Yeah, burnt down. Oh, when did that happen? Um, uh, eighties, mid eighties, late eighties. But yeah, it's all you know, private property now, and people still try to sneak on the property, grab bricks off of there. You know, the the only that's the only thing that lasted was the chimney bricks. God, it's just a creepy looking cabin, man. I don't know about you, Goose, but I mean a lot of people may think it's silly, but this this movie actually used to scare me when I was younger. You know what, it's funny you say that because I think the last time I watched this was uh it, it's probably been I think it was last spring and, and it had been a while since I saw it, and I actually watched it as an adult. And I thought, you know what? This movie is pretty scary. I still think it's scary. It's yeah, very creepy. And there's, I mean, yeah. there's parts that are going to come up that are my all-time favorite parts in horror film that actually creep me the fuck out. And I will, of course, talk about those when they come up. But, um, yeah, just – I don't know. It's, 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 I mean, it's meant to be funny too. I mean in, yeah, I in mean, a way. It, it, it is kind of – kooky kind of corny and of course the effects are and it almost looks like you know uh jim henson's understudy to the effects for this movie it's sure. just kind of eh, but but it's creepy at the same time too no i agree it's, that freaking deer head freaks me oh, out oh god i love it in the second one i know we're not talking about the second yeah. one but laugh oh gosh it's so creepy no, I yeah, agree. everything about this place is freaking nuts. I mean, if if demonic forces weren't gonna, you know, take them apart, I would be afraid of getting gang raped by hobos or <laughs> you know, backwoods bubba types. I don't know which one I'd rather. I think I'd rather get molested by tree branches than a than a you know trucker. Well, I mean, well, if you're a woman getting molested by a tree branch, you're a lot different than a guy getting molested by tree branches. Yeah, well, yeah, unless uh, you, unless you stick the tree branch up your ass, which well, that's how a guy would get by a tree branch. Well, or, I mean, yeah, well, it's freaking like bones hanging from the ceiling. Like, what went on here? Who knows, man? Tusks, what a rusty chainsaws. I'm you shitty. know what? When you're looking at a scene like this, and actually, when you're looking at the uh, scenery when they first enter the cabin, you just see the woods. Just seriously, I know I don't want to sound like a, a broken record here, but how many independent horror films have ripped this off? Let's use the woods. It's easily resourceful. Uh, we, we all got them around us. And let's use an old dirty cabin. I mean, it's been done so many times, and this was the first. I mean, I know people personally that 
have caught this whole thing too. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah, and like you were saying before, I mean, no, none of them can do it justice. I mean, they cannot, you know, they cannot recreate the atmosphere of this. I mean, even even look at this clock. I mean, it creeps you out just the clock moving back and forth, dude. So you know what the hell is going to happen? It's like the clock is watching you, the house is watching. Yeah. No, the thing that yeah, you're right. The thing that sets this apart from all the people that tried to rip it off is, you know, Sam Raimi had some real skill here, and he really knew how to lay atmosphere. And you know, it, the way he he was able to that's a that's a sign of a good director to me. If you can take a low budget, and you know, when you have a low budget. You can't rely on good special effects. Sometimes you can't rely on, uh, you know, the best of actors. You have to rely on your actual skill and, and you know, laying the groundwork and laying dynamic and things like that. And he, he's a good director. I still love Sam Raimi, even though he's not. No, I do too. Even though he's, I think he's still a horror guy at heart. I, I understand he's kind of Hollywood. Uh, Hollywood's got him by the balls. I got that, but he's got to go where the money is right now. You know. Look at her hand. One thing I wanted to tell tell everybody about is when Riverman was in high school, I used to have the Evil Dead test with all my uh, girlfriends. Um, <laughs> every girl I was dating at the time, the first date, first or second date, we watched Evil Dead. And if they can handle Evil Dead and not think I was a freak, then, you know, we would start dating. But I did this with every every girl I dated. And believe me, there was there was a lot of them that pretty much didn't call me again. You know, if they can't love your Evil Dead, then you know you're better off not loving them. I love the, I love the cellar man. That cellar is just iconic to oh, me. Oh God! And I mean, it was very iconic in the second one too. But I don't know. It's so telltale heart. Just the boom, 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 boom. Were they drinking smoothies or what? It's that purple stuff. You know what? I don't know about anybody else here, but can you not just smell what that cabin smells like right oh, now? Oh yeah, man. It just—I feel like I'm absorbed in it. And I can—I can just smell that musty, you know, woody, uh, mildewy even smell of that wood. Oh, I love—I'd love to live there, man. Oh, you're nuts. You—you oh. you, you, you are a river, man. Oh, I loved. Oh God. And you—you oh. could, you could tell somebody pushed that cellar door open. You can see the hand, dude. I missed it. There's a hand. Well, you can tell something pushed it up. Yeah. I thought I saw a hand. Yeah, but who doesn't get away with stuff like yeah. that? I mean, yeah. I'm just, I mean, yeah. Who did the music for this, by the way? I don't know, Do you, but it's pretty It's pretty creepy, dude. I wonder if, and whoever it is, I wonder if they uh, continue to work with Sam Raimi or if they worked again, but... I love that. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, yeah, it's it's creepy, man. Look, his teeth are yellow, dude. They can't even afford an actor with good teeth. Dude, they're regular people, man. That's what I like about it. That's exactly my point earlier. Yeah. She looks like, I mean, she looks like Adrian from Rocky, not Adrian. Yeah. She does, dude. She does. I never noticed that. Yeah, she always reminded me of uh, her. She is banging. <laughs> she looks good. <laughs> Sorry, Michael Jackson reference. Sorry, folks. Yeah, you, you might hear it in future podcasts. Oh, don't go down there. Don't make that mistake. Don't be the hero. I'd be the guy that'd be going down there, actually. Would you? Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, if I was there with ladies, you don't want to look like a pants. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Now, if it was between me and you, <laughs> you might be shooting for it. Well, if I was already getting my wick wet, I wouldn't sweat. I'd be like, you can go down. I was like, I'm already getting pussy. <laughs> Sounds like a well. Doesn't sound like a cellar. And hear his voice from a mile away. She looks like a young stalker Channing. She's cute, dude. I don't think so. She looks like uh, live action Miss Piggy. Left and right, the one in the middle, of course, is ugly and annoying. But the one in the middle is a big old schnoz, dude. Yeah, that stepladder nose. <laughs> hey, uh... Daddy! was this eighty one? Uh, no, I think you're thinking Evil Dead 2, right? Or was it 79? No, Se it was 81, isn't it? Oh, this is late 70s, man. But you know what? We have to get our facts straight, so I will research that. 81. Bit, man, I mean, I know we should. 81, I was right. Wait, 79. When was, uh, I told you, 
Yeah, it was shot in 79. I don't think it was released till 81. Evil Dead 2 came out quite a bit later. There was a nice, huge gap. Yeah. So we were both right. Those are some pretty sweet moccasins he's got. I, and I love a shot like that. I love the yeah. feature. Sounds like Mortal Kombat sound effects, dude. <laughs> when, we'll see. It's a reptile following him. That music indicating. <laughs> Watch him closely, reptile. Your soul is mine. Dude, it is Mortal Kombat music. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I, I love it, dude. That's I, cool. Yeah, that's a cool shot. Oh, granted, I doubt they created the uh, idea that cellars and basements are creepy, but because of this movie in particular, I find cellars and basements creepy. Yeah, well, especially in a cabin. I mean, it's of course it's an unfinished basement that's leaking from the ceiling. Like, where is this water coming from? Looks like jizz. Hey, wh- where is this? W- you wish you'd have your tongue open and out. Oh yeah. What? Where is this water coming from, though? I don't I- know. I didn't even know they had running water. That's what I'm saying. Why would they? The remote cabin in the woods. You know, I understand these guys were all young actors and they didn't have a lot of money, but it really wasn't expensive to shave your unibrow back then, so why didn't... uh, (laughs) Oh, Bruce. Bruce Campbell's amazing. I don't care what people say. He makes a lot of crap movies. He does, but he's still a cool guy. You know what? It's not because of him. He's always good, but he's just involved with so much garbage. But if he's, but I mean, his good pro, like if you guys ever watched Burn Notice, he's great in that. If you ever watched, uh, you know, my name uh, is Bruce. Piece of shit. A horrible movie, but you know, like he's great in these. Uh, you know, I think it's whoever can get the best out of him. And I think no, his partner in crime, Sam Raimi, obviously got the best out of him because he's iconic in these roles. But if you watch him in Burn Notice, he's great. Great writing behind that. Brothers and, gotta uh, get paid. Yeah, I love Briscoe. the hills. I love the hills have eyes poster on the wall, ripped up. Yeah, and some shotgun shields. It's, maybe it's foreshadowing on what's to, foreshadowing of what's to come later on for Ash. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love that's that a gun in his face. He's laughing about it, dude. I'd be pissed. <laughs> I wonder who made that book, dude, and what it's made out of. I don't know. Do Do you own the DVD book or or flesh? Uh, own that. I never did own that. I didn't either. I I should have bought it, but I'm sure you can still buy it. But I I don't want the DVDs. No, and it sucks because we don't get these cool uh, editions on Blu-ray. We just get standard. I mean, not never... anymore. I mean, that was the early two thousands. You know, I wonder. I really want to know. I'd love to know. Um, if we ever got to interview Bruce Campbell, I've actually been in contact with Bruce Campbell, to be fair. But I want to know what that book was made out of, because the book progressively looked better in each movie. Latex? I don't know. It's one of the worst. It's that jug full of Kool-Aid back there, dude. It's like blue. Antifreeze? I love this dude. You know, you know one of his friends, like someone like me, just he had them draw that with the oh. crayon. Lightning looked horrible, dude, but I love it. Boom, dude. Of course, they all got to sit around here smoking pot, which is great. You don't think she's cute, dude? No. Oh. Sure, she's got a bush that make a chia pet jealous. <laughs> but, but they're, gosh, man. But Ash, I bet Ash is picking freaking short and curlies out of his teeth left That's and right. Seventies, dude. It's popular. There she is, Adrian. Mm-hmm. What's up with that dude's voice, man? He sounds like. Uh, 
I don't know, just everybody you heard back in the 50s and the, or like maybe even the Kennedy era, every, all the news reporters, all the, the people from NASA, the PBS guys. It doesn't really sound like a guy that would have been hanging out in that cabin doing all that Necronomicon stuff. No, I agree. It just sounds like this is a public service announcement. <laughs> Panasonic, dude. I wonder if uh, they got in any trouble for using the Panasonic monitor. I don't understand why it's... I mean, it's night out. It's a quarter to six. It must be must be Decemberish then. But why would it be uh, thunderstorming? I don't uh, know. I, I pick up on little things like that. God, man, see, she doesn't even attempt to look hot, dude. Look at that ugly skirt, dude. She just oh. just a gypsy, dude. Looks like she's wearing a freaking my grandma's tablecloth around her waist. That's horrible, dude. God, that nose, dude. That step ladder nose is killing me, dude. Look at this. Love this. This is like this is like the effects people have in their lawn on Halloween, dude. Yeah. For <laughs> the fog machine, dude. Yeah, the fog machine. All they're missing now is like the the Count Chocula music blasting out of a PA to the window. Yeah. Oh, I love this. Reminds Look. me of Ernest. Ernest scared stupid toy. Yeah. Off, dude. Oh, no. Hello, You know, you know these people with a budget like this. All this stuff was one take or break. Oh, you know, yeah. hey, we got to break this window. You guys better act scared because we can't pay to have another one replaced. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Again. <laughs> and can't wait. You know, on top of that, to have it replaced. Looks like the tree was cut in half, dude. Look at that. We need to have it wasn't a, even the top of the tree. Uh, we need to have a an ash party. Next Halloween, we all need to go as different eras of Ash. One of us can go as the the seventies Ash. Look at him, you know. One of us can go as the Evil Dead Two Ash, and one of us can go as the friggin' uh, I mean, I'll go as the S Mart Ash. Oh yeah, there's S Mart Ash. That's a good one, dude. The seventies Ash is the most doable. It's just getting the hair right. Focus, Ramy. Focus. Not even gonna focus. I wonder what he would say about that if we questioned him It'd about. Probably drive him nuts, dude. I'd drive me nuts. Oh, it does drive nuts. Now, you think they – why wouldn't they not – well, obviously, this is something they probably caught. Do you think they would have caught this only in editing or on the spot? Editing. And it's one of those things where they can't go back – yeah, you can't really do reshoots on a, on a budget like this. God, this part – I mean, it's it's corny, but it's so memorable, dude. It's like something stupid you would do with your girlfriend, dude. It's pretty relatable. <laughs> Let's pretend I'm sleeping. <laughs> oh, oh Bert. It's like a giant unibrow. He's got the Burt, dude. Where's Ernie? It's the most hideous necklace ever, dude. Something you give your grandmother, dude. Ah. A Tiffany's commercial, or are we watching a horror movie? I know. Oh, whatever. That is cheesy. It's so unrealistic. Hokey. Well, it's something you do with your girlfriend, like I'm saying. Not for that long. Not for that long, no. <laughs> Maybe a few winks. Or whatever he's doing. Is, like is, he, is he giving her his cock ring as I a symbol of love? See, oh. I don't know what the significance of that stupid magnifying glass necklace is. It's so dumb. It's probably just what Sam Raimi had. In his, like, possessions. Like, what's he this? Maybe it's a device to see a small cock. Make it look bigger. Or maybe he likes big clits. That too. So. Oh, Ash, now I can see your big cock. Oh, your dude, small cock. You know, Ash is swinging next to his knees, dude. I don't want to know. Dude has a unibrow, dude. I don't want to know what's down there. <laughs> Jungle gym, dude? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure it goes from his ass to his back, dude. Now, this one, the second and the third one are more de are def I mean, I'm not saying this one isn't intentionally hokey, but the second and third one are 100% intentionally hokey. I, I mean, agree. you can even introduce the one-liners in this one. I mean, there's kind of the lines that are just bad. But, you know, there's the deliberate ones in the second and third one. And you don't get that out of Ash in this one. So, I mean, it's it's really a different feel. 
I do respect that they took one franchise and made three almost entirely different flicks. That I think it's really cool. I think there's something for everybody, and I think that's you're gonna find those people that all have their favorites. And I no, think I I totally agree with you on that. I told you I love the second one for what it is, it's probably the best. And I know tons of people that love Army of Darkness the best, and I know a bajillion people that love this one the best. This so is, I, uh, Army of Darkness my least favorite. I mean, I love the second one, but this is my all-time favorite. I don't know why. Just certain parts of the film just, I mean, they stick with me. Like, I think, I don't know. And why the hell would she run outside or look outside? No, you're concerned with what you're hearing out there, so let me go run outside my robe. I at least put some clothes on. I mean, I mean, yeah. This this robe will persuade these uh, hillbillies not to rape me. Actually, they'll see, look at one look at that schnoz and turn back. I I, I love these just candid wood shots. I they're freaking awesome. It just reminds me of like um, I'm watching like some old Transylvania, you know, horror movie and the the fog machines and the the woods and. Are they doing all that with just fog machines? That's a lot. I know. A cheesy fake moon right there. Oh, I wonder what, how they did that. Oh, I don't know. They used... If that's just like a... I mean, they didn't really have any kind of... Did they even have, like, ghetto retro CGI back then where they could have, you know, just... See, I was curious about that myself. I don't know what they would do for that. It, it kind of looks like it could be a screen back there. Like, this yeah, is like a, it could be. Yeah. It's like a stage set, dude. Now she just wants something up her gash. Yeah, you know, this is the first time I've watched this uh, this one since I've seen Cabin in the Woods, and it just further further makes me a hard advocate that man, anybody that freaking worships Cabin in the Woods needs that movie to sucks. Check their brains and, and go back and watch this movie. This is the real Cabin in the Woods. Well, I, really, I mean, they were overhyping that, and then we saw it. We saw it together, uh, Goose, and then I, I never I, watched it again, did You know what? The first uh, – there was – for a little bit, it had some momentum where I thought it was going to be great, and then just kind of took a weird turn. I'm like, okay, is it going to – you know, it didn't really deliver, but nothing I would – nothing I've watched again. Everybody get casual. River's popping open beers. Let's all pop That's open right. But like you were saying earlier, I want some some dirty, nasty fucking girls, you know. I want some girls that are actually believable that you can actually get, you know. Yeah. Because these are the type of women you could actually get. Well, I hope not. I can do better than this. Oh, yeah. This is iconic. This is going to be in the, uh, supposedly the scenes and, you know, a version of the scene will be in the new one. Really? Yeah, supposedly, yeah. I mean, there is tree rape. Nice. Hopefully it's more graphic than this. Yeah. Even though this is pretty graphic. I mean, this is all implied. I'm pretty sure the, the new one will be brutal. But why Why would the tree pick her? I don't know. You'd think the tree would have better taste. Oh, man, I mean... I know it's not a human being, but, you know, he's got wood. And anybody... <laughs> <laughs> Anybody with any, <laughs> any sense of it should Wonder know. if the tree can drop its seed in her. Dude, he's just gonna. No, I, see, I don't. <laughs> trading her, I think that's like the equivalent to a tree finger banging her because it's just a branch. It's like a twig, dude. I think that's like a finger. <laughs> if it was a stump, dude, I'd say she was getting, you know, pummeled, dude. Yeah, it's a nice tit, though. Put a bag over her head, right? Oh, she's a double bagger, dude. One for you and her. <laughs> That's true. For you, just in case hers falls off. Put an extra one over her schnoz. I'll go up her nose. Oh! Oh, man. Dude, she's enjoying she's it. She's starting to like it, I know. Starting to like it. Dude, I, I, she almost is kind of liking it. That's very odd. Why is it odd, dude? Don't most women like it? Oh, well, she's getting. You're getting. She's not even. I think it'd be a little bit concerned that it was a tree, dude. A paranormal tree. <laughs> uh. 
I don't think I would get that caught up in the moment where I'd forget my surroundings and just enjoy it for a second. Oh, I'll just let it go. I'll secede in the back of my mind and let this happen. Well, it's not like she getting knocked up from the tree. Unless she going to have a bunch of tree babies, dead. You never know, dude. What if it's an apple tree, dude? Just starts freaking throwing. <laughs> Squirting out apples, dude. Apples. Oh, and it's the, you know, your quintessential run through the woods. Mm-hmm. Put in underwear. That would suck, dude. And this has been done a lot in movies. You, I would hate to be in a situation where I was having to run through the woods barefoot. That would suck, yeah. man. And your adrenaline's pumping, so you just keep running no matter what you're stepping on. But can you imagine stepping on all those rocks, twigs, dude, and you know, whatever? Broken glass, even? Good Lord. God, her feet's got it. Her feet another, has to be more bladed than her hatchet wound, dude. No, another thing is also, I mean, your adrenaline's pumping. You're kind of, uh, you're in a state of hysteria when you're running away from something like that. You're panicking. I'm surprised. I would probably run into a tree. Okay, I wouldn't keep tripping, though, would you? Well, look at now, this. This is, this is, I mean, this is obviously tripping on purpose. Yeah, okay, let's run into the car and look back. I mean, she keeps looking back, and well, she ran through the entire woods without running it while looking backwards without running into a single tree in a panic. But then, yeah, when she gets to the house, she's like falling over like everything, her feet. I love that. Yeah. There's skeleton a key. key. Key up there, you putts. No, it's not a skeleton key. It doesn't open up every door. Did she know that was why was she even? I would I would not imagine there was a key up there. Well, didn't she see uh, what's his name opening up with that key? Maybe. Went up there to get it. It was lights, dude. I don't know why they have lights on the top of the, the house. Oh, like fog lights, dude. Or motion lights. Oh, They're- that's a hideous look. <laughs> dude, I wonder if they. I wonder if those are being used. I wonder if those are doubling as like set pieces, dude. Like lights at the top of those. I don't know. I love how it falls back into the woods, dude. That's cool. So let's just get this straight. It is the woods that are haunted. Is it the woods or is it the cabin or is it everything? The woods raped me. We're we're gonna get a nice showcasing of the golden age of uh, special effects and hey and hey, bo- hey what don't jump to it this is one of my favorite scenes ever he was trying to tap into his uh, Captain Kirk dude that's what he reminds me in this movie I cannot he's just talking like <laughs> man oh. For some the, reason, that reminds me of Family Guy, dude. What? That Captain Kirk scene. <laughs> I just He just sounds like his voice is higher in the way he's just uh, enunciating things. He just sounds like, uh, you know, William Shatner. Yeah. Can't get past That's it. That's a cool shot right there, though. With him in it, the background, so, with the light coming out. Light coming out of the house, which yeah. makes it... There's like a bunch of flashlights in there, like a bunch of stage lights. Well, that's cool, though. I mean, that's like a, that's a still shot right there, you know? Yeah, but where's all that bright light when they're in the house? Ha- so, I I agree, but you can't think about it too much, dude. I mean, this is low budget, like you're saying. We're commentating, dude. She looks like a rape victim. Well, I guess she was a rape victim, but like, oh. How would you go to your therapist and actually talk about this, dude? You just have to swallow this one. You I just got raped by the woods. You just have to move on. Would you go to the hospital, dude, to see if you got, uh... Get the rape kit done? Yeah. I'd feel like an asshole. Like, we didn't find any semen, man. We found a whole bunch of maple syrup, though. <laughs> maple syrup and slivers, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Unless some guy is shooting off splinters inside of you. I don't think... <laughs> she has a vag full of toothpicks, dude. I would actually, I would actually insinuate that you did this to yourself, ma'am. So, oh. sir, time you sand down your homemade vibrators. Well, it was Christmas time. What? So she got a vibrator for it's Christmas? A lonely Christmas, dude. No, she has a Christmas tree. 
No, I'm just saying, you know, maybe she came from an old country farmhouse in a family, you know, where you used to fashion your own stuff. Maybe her grandpa used to sit on the porch in his rocking chair carving herself a freaking dildo out of, uh, you know, tree bark. He's wh- whittling a dildo, dude. <laughs> Make sure Gramps sands that thing down so you don't get any more splints in there, dude. Oh, God, I hope people are still listening. I mean, it's family, man. You got to take care of them. That's right. They don't want us to leave, Ashley. Never knew a guy whose name was Ashley, dude. Cool, dude. I think it's. I think it's very. It's unique, man. It is unique. I like it too. But I. This is the first time I ever heard it. You know. Oh, for me. What? I don't sense either. I'm just saying, it's cool, man. If we were making a movie like this. I would want to give uh, the main protagonist a very unique name that, you know, if the movie went down in some sort of history, it would be identifiable. Because oh, he would I, just be Bob Adam. He's like, wow, this guy's name is Ash or Ashley. No, I agree with you. See, where's the coming from, dude? The fog is, yeah, that a little... A little overdone, but stage lights. Ever. I mean, it looks like a, a thea- it looks like a theater play. Which I still want to see the new uh, oh, the musical. I hear our buddy Fury uh, went to go see that. He said it was pretty sweet. Yeah, and that was in your neck of the woods. Ooh, danger! Travel at own risk. I couldn't. I couldn't pay the fifty bucks though to go. It's too much for me. I wonder if Sam Raimi's actually caught that. I don't know. Since since they do still own the rights to Evil Dead, he has to be behind it some way. Yeah, and... he's got a percentage. Is that musical going off of the first film, or is it what? Uh, I believe so. And I think they have like the first three rows is like the splatter zone, where you get a bunch of blood splattered on you. I want to know what song she goes into singing when she's getting raped by the tree. Like what? How that goes down. Hey, YouTube that. I want like an old uh, analog. Oh, that'd be sweet. They have earbuds back then, dude. That's cool. Oh, that's right, dude. Yeah. I mean, my... Do they have earbuds back then? I guess. This is my favorite part of the Evil Dead movie. Any of the franchises, did. This scared the shit out of me when I was a kid, dude. And it still scares the shit out of me, dude. I wonder where he got that scar on his chin. I don't know. I was just shaving. What? I was shaving. Just trying to save some time. God, this is so cool. That's scary, dude. Oh my god, dude. That's that's exactly what I'm talking about. Look that's how so creepy. scary, dude. The simple effect of the the audio morph on the voice, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's awesome. I know. Oh, that used to scare the shit out of me, dude. It still does. It's still effective. Everybody's speechless. They're not even freaking yeah. speechless. Look at Ash. <laughs> Look on his eyes. <laughs> they're they're going near, dude. I'd be like, I don't know if I, I don't know if I can go up to this. I wouldn't want. I'd be making you touch that person. Oh yeah, let's go touch her face. I got the dead fingers already, dude. Look at Look that. At the fingers are made out of dude. It looks like, it's total prosthetic. It looks. It looks like glue, dude. Like those Elmer's glue, dude, and you rip it off your fingers, dude. Oh, fake. That looks oh. cool, dude. That still looks good, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Lead poisoning. That's nuts. <laughs> She's a strong bitch. 
I love it. She's hotter now as a demon. <laughs> I know. And she just grew a gap in her teeth, or did she have that before? I do, but, you know, easy access. See, her schnoz, schnoz is justified as a demon, dude. It's yeah. okay. She looks she's like, good now. That's nuts. Look how slow she's going, dude. That's creepy, dude. Yeah. Taking her time. <laughs> God, I love the eyes, dude. The eyes are so creepy. I don't know why people don't use that. She looks like Dustin Diamond. And now she just turns into <laughs> a dummy head, dude. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> that was quick. He's holding a friggin' fake. Some demon, dude. But how creepy would this be, dude? You're in a friggin' ca oh, you're in the cabin. With your friends and one of this and some, one of your friends, this happens to them, and you have to lock them in the cellar, dude. And they're just going nuts. That'd be crazy. Look at yeah. that. Yeah, I agree. It's like you're extremely quick to quarantine somebody, but I I do it too, I guess. Yeah. Especially if you're floating in the air, I guess. I guess that <laughs> you were sick would go out the window when you're like morphing and you know flying in the air, levitating. I mean, they need to be more rational. Why can't they just... I mean, you got to go through the checklist. Maybe she just needs sleep. No, I'm doubtful. Well, they already know they can't go anywhere, so they might as well just kick back, wait till morning. Yeah, that's ridiculous, dude. Yeah. I wouldn't be able to sleep, dude. I mean, I would probably wouldn't leave the living room. I, You know, you're, I would keep like, that cellar. Like, okay. She's probably in shock, dude, though she passed out after getting stabbed in the foot. Oh, yeah. This is awesome. I love oh, all yeah. the first person view camera work they do in this film. And the voices did. Yeah. I love that. That to me that's a staple of this film is yeah. the first, first person filming with whether it's the woods, whether it's this. No, they don't do it like this anymore, dude. Seeing it through their eyes, I love it. It's funny how far back, um, how far behind voice acting is, because this was bad acting for the day. But then, like, it took video games to catch up so far, because in the 90s, like Resident Evil era, this is where voice acting was this mm -hmm. bad. But, you know, now we're at the point finally where voice acting is as good as television. Yeah, and stuff. it's like a movie, dude. It's funny, though, because this is what we were getting in video games all the way up until, like, 2000. Looks yeah, like freaking That's a cool shot right there. Justin Diamond in that makeup, dude. Yeah. I, so, I, that's so creepy, though, dude. Everything will be all right, Adrian. Why don't they close the shutters, dude? Especially after she got raped by the woods. Yeah. Well, I mean, they don't know she got raped by the woods, did she? Well, she's obviously all fucked up. She wanted to leave. You know how that happened. Well, if my friend was all f freaked out and shit, I'd close up. The first thing you'd, you, the first thing you'd come, w w you'd come to is like, oh my god, she must have been molested by a tree. That's why this is happening. Oh, I'd be like, oh, there's something out there. Might as well, you know, close the shutters. I'd close them anyway, dude. I don't freaking rednecks looking in dude they're a scary place because you know it's like space no one can hear you scream this is true oldie <laughs> those walls texture I'm made out of brick or some kind of Fucked up drywall. I don't know. When the time comes that we do make another movie, I think we should totally do a dated piece, dude, like in the 70s. Wouldn't be fun? It's my favorite era, dude. Might as well. So, uh, you know, I mean, obviously it takes a lot more work. 
because you'd have to make sure everything is of the time. But if we did something low budget like like these guys, you pretty much just got an old cabin. So it's not like you got a whole bunch of surroundings where you got to make sure the cars are up to date. You know, you don't really have to do anything. Just make sure they're basically the clothes they're wearing are seventies, and they got one car. That's easy, man. That's Anybody. easy, yeah. And it'd be believable. Just make sure no one's got cell phones, and you know. Oh, I'd love to do it, man. That's, it would... that's why I liked uh, House of the Devil so much. Yeah. So reminiscent to that early 80s, late 70s era. And I hit it, hit it on the head. So who... Are those all his clothes? Is that a tomahawk shirt? I don't know. Probably, I'm sure. I mean, it just looks like a place that wouldn't have any utilities. Well, they have save electricity and running water. Dripping jizz from the basement. Toilet paper on top of the... You might be a redneck. Yeah, hey, paper shut st- up, I still do that. On top of the bowl, dude? Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't, dude? God, that shower looks... <laughs> oh... I was just sending him a message, just scratch him. I love this. Yeah. <laughs> did the same people play the demonic versions of themselves? I don't know, dude. They could almost be dudes. They could be anybody. They're like wearing. Why do you pull out of the fire, dude? Because there's this. Like the ultimate warrior, dude. Burning on my pretty flesh. Wow, these special effects are so good, dude. I <laughs> there just blows my mind how they did this, man. Well, I don't think they're amazing by today's standards, even for an indie film, but they're definitely for the time. For the still- budget, too, dude. Look at that, it's awesome. Yeah. Oh, come on, Ash, you really can't get that off of you? I mean, that that's what was holding him down? It, it clearly weighs about five pounds. Oh. Oh, that's so creepy, dude. Look at that. a lot of blood clearly i mean her hand is made out of styrofoam you see how easy he cut through that he wasn't even like putting a lot of force on that well he didn't cut through because she still has it no she's biting it off there you go i love that dude (laughs) you can see the mask dude that's so especially on the blu-ray you can see the mask it's hilarious i'm watching the blue it's the Blu-ray version right now, and oh, you're on the Blu-ray. I'm on the, I'm on the oh. Netflix version. You can see the so. mask, you see the mask coming off her skin, like it, it's wrapped around her chin. I love that sound, dude. <laughs> People think it's annoying, dude, but it's just so creepy, dude. Your blood coming out the skull's mouth, dude. I love that shot right there. <laughs> yeah, on the Blu-ray version, you can see the mask peeling off of her chin. You can't. Yeah, I got it on Blu-ray too. It's, but it's, it looks beautiful on Blu-ray. I think. Yeah, for for the kind of movie it is, and for the time, it it retains, it retains that indie graininess that you probably don't want to be gone. Yeah. I love the milk, dude. Oh, that's awesome. It's common knowledge that they use milk. I think now. Yeah. I don't think. I- Shit from aliens, dude. Just squirting milk everywhere. It seems like Ash is taking a lot better than uh, he is. God, oh, Ash, just, Ash seems fine, dude. Just like, okay. It's almost like, oh, yeah, we got her. Like, you're forgetting that's your friends? Your girlfriends? I know. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> see, that's a total. You can see the mass, dude, on the Blue Ray oh, version. Yeah, yeah. Pick it out right there. Well, that's why it wasn't meant to be seen in Blu ray. But still looks awesome in Blu ray. Oh, you know what? So, <laughs> I love that. She's yeah. dropped. They're of potato. shooting blood at him. You know what? I know a lot of people might think it kind of takes you out of uh, the fantasy and takes you out of the story, especially one you've been growing up with. Fuck when you see that, dude. I want to see it in this highest highest quality. When you see when you see the flaws, when high def, you know, points all that out. But I think it's neat, man. I, I actually am the opposite, where I I find it fascinating how stuff is made, and I actually like seeing the flaws sometimes. And I am, I am, I'm the same with you, man. I want to see it in this high, you know. Yeah. I don't want to see it in a, a shitty quality. I don't want to see a VHS rip of it. Like raw ground beef, dude. Yeah, I love that. Still, you're still twitching. That's well, great. Yeah, man. See the warts and all. I think it's neat. It it does it retain that hum, human quality. Why would you bury her, dude? I just throw her on the fucking fire. He's like the coward back there. <laughs> He's a friend of ours. <laughs> kind of bear hair now. <laughs> it has its comedic moments. That's what I like about it. I mean, it's not, you know... It's not as overdone as Evil Dead 2, which I love. Don't get me wrong. What would you do... Okay, let's say you and I, River, were in this situation. We went out here with a couple of dames, some random chicks, and it was just me and you, and they turned into demons, and we're like, okay, we got to bury them now. Let's say we got out of this alive. Is this just one of those things we'd never talk about again? Like when people ask what happened to our friends, like, I don't know, they just never showed up. Pretty much. I just give them, I wouldn't bury them, though. I'd give them an acid bath, dude. Well, you'd want to, you'd want to burn them. Yeah, so the, all the remains are gone. Yeah. You don't want to be tied to them in any way. I mean, I, I get the respect part of it. But yeah, it would just be one of those situations where we'll never talk of this again. It never happened. Well, they have no. Uh, what are they going to tell the cops? Uh, they got possessed by demons and then I hacked them up with an axe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you might as well just burn them. Well, I mean, I you love saw this part, dude. She's not my girlfriend. I don't care about her. I love that, dude. They, they've already seen what these... That looks like grape jelly smeared on the side of his face. Do those mm -hmm. scratch. The scratch is like grape jelly. That's not... That's the pinkest bruise I've ever seen, dude. That's blush, dude. Right here. <laughs> I don't care what happens to her. She's your girlfriend. You take care of her. I love that quote, dude. That's perfect. What bail on you, Todd. River, sorry. Yeah, but I. Every time I think of this movie, I think of that, dude. It's so funny, dude, because the guy's so self centered, dude. Uh, these, and there's always that guy. Like, yeah. it always. Hey, look like, look at the lights on the top of the. I know. They're, roof, they're dude. supposed to notice them, but they're total set lights, dude. Oh, yeah. That's creepy, dude. But there's always that douchebag, you know. It always makes me think of uh, also um, Cabin Fever, the one guy that sells out his girlfriend and just leaves. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Reminds me of that short we, short we just watched where uh, he lets the zombies eat his girlfriend, dude, and he runs away. That makes you sick, man. Yeah, <laughs> out, talk about, out, cold, out there. Out there, it's, yeah, which we just interviewed the guy in such a great movie. Or... Short. Oh, this is creepy, dude. This is this is one of my favorite parts. It's so just campy, and this is. Hold on, Ashley. <laughs> How does your ass feel? <laughs> oh, his they legs fucked up, but I'm quick. I love that, dude. I love this. She reminds me of my mom, dude. She'd be like my mom possessed, dude. I don't know why I think that all the time, but... 
Um, well, clearly, everybody else turned possessed. So you know he's gonna look at that dude. Yeah. She looks like she's been uh, using Joker products. <laughs> Love that Joker. I am laughing hysterically with this it's freaking Joker products. <laughs> He's a bone hanging out of his arm, dude. I've never noticed hey, that before. He's not even being easy with him, dude. Like, dude, he's got a bone sticking out of his arm. Quit pushing him. I never noticed that before, dude. That's crazy. Scotty, listen to me, please, for God's sake. Scotty. <laughs> Let's hit I'll his just... mangled face. That's so funny, dude. Slap him, dude, when he has a gash on his face. <laughs> he didn't even react. Look out. It's funny, the demon in the basement's getting prettier as the movie goes on. Well, it definitely looks different in, like, every shot. Yeah. Which, that makes it charming, I guess. I mean, honestly, when I watch this in Blu-ray, I see better uh, makeup effects on someone's face on Halloween on the streets to pub crawls. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, things were a lot different back in the late seventies, early eighties. Props. She's she's in, she's particularly bad. Hers is bad, but oh, it's just makeup on her face. It's not even like yeah. aesthetic or nothing. But I like it, dude. I like how she's got the eyes. I eye. like her eyes, dude. Her eyes are creepy. Oh. <laughs> I love. Look, it's got the Indiana Jones sound effects, dude. Where every time he punches her, it's louder than his gun, dude. Yeah. Punches somebody. It's. I wish my. My punch just sounded that loud, dude. This is creepy, dude. <laughs> Lover boy. <laughs> I love that. Sounds like freaking, uh... But. Kill her if you can, lover boy. <laughs> Smile for the camera, I guess. We're just gonna do it. Do it. Oh no, don't. Ash. Dude, Ooh. I couldn't do that, dude. I couldn't blow my girlfriend's head off, dude. Or fiance's. <laughs> Look at him. You do the same shit, dude. You know you would. With everybody. Yeah, how do you know she's not back to normal? I, mean, I know. I'd be like, baby, you got real ugly. Let me out of here. Ashley, I'm fine now. I love that. Let me out of here. I'm alright now. <laughs> She's fine, honey. Where are you? Let's see your pretty little schnoz. Yeah, but she doesn't show her pretty face like she changed her image, you know? Why does she, like, open it up? She's leaving. Looks like guy's still breathing, dude. Oh, he is, yeah. It's like a zombie dude on the couch. Which is funny because on Netflix they say, they give a description saying like zombies come into the cabin. It's like, they're not zombies. They're possessed. That always pisses me off. Dude, I'd be like, um, please open this and let me see your face. Crack it. Don't just open the lock, dude. He's not, dude. Absolutely crazy. If you're lying to me, you're going to get the tree branch again, bitch. <laughs> Strong. What was that? Is that, was that? I didn't know that was a sister, dude. It's your sister, Cheryl. <laughs> this is one of the best parts I think it's awesome oh I agree <laughs> 
What if that demon still wanted to have her wait with you, dude? Would you let her? Oh. <laughs> you didn't answer my question there, Goose. No. No? <laughs> Not that kinky. Hey, clearly, I never knew you were so kinky. Clearly there's somebody else in that body, and I'm not into three ways. <laughs> just drag her outside. That'll solve everything. Drag her under the spotlight. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, under the spotlight. <laughs> Looks like stock moon footage. Give him a glass of piss to soothe his... What's like piss? What is that? It's piss. Drizzling piss down his throat. <laughs> He's dead as a doornail, Smalls. And piss is making me thirsty, dude. Making you thirsty, dude. Probably all warm. What's wrong with that, dude? Bruce Campbell's not going to be at Wizard World in St. Louis this weekend. He was at Portland. He's he's always in those. Uh, he's in the Southern shows and the Western show. He's never in the Midwest. Like he always goes to, like the Florida shows and the cat or the yeah the Oregon. I knew you were so kinky. It's about time you found out. Sick. <laughs> <laughs> He's watching her lick that thing when he could be like, you know, just bum rush. <laughs> How is he not stronger than that broad? Crazy fucking broad. Well, she's demonically possessed. If movies have shown us anything, it's that your strength is enhanced when this happens. Well, I'd be scared of the bitch in the basement, but I wouldn't be scared of her. Why? Because she looks like a fucking mummy, dude, in the basement. She's the one up top is just as possessed. Okay. Oh, I love that, dude. Love it, dude. Why are they? Uh, why do they bleed red and white? It's pus, dude. Look at that. Look at that blood. Looks black, dude. That's so black. I think it's cool. Mm hmm. This part always drove me nuts. Is this where the part where she fakes it, dude? <laughs> I'm spitting, dude. No, that's coming up. What What is this book he has in his hand, dude? I never noticed that before. Uh, what does it say? Perish? Perish, yeah. That's crazy, dude. I never, never even noticed that. You notice something new every time you watch movies, what they say. Yeah. Even if it's just like a minor, minor detail. I mean... But it can. What's on the can? But it ties into the film, though. Yeah, I love that shot right there. Yeah. Her. Oh yeah. Those are some loud fucking chains, dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't think she's gonna get out of that ash. You don't have to worry. Oh man, I'd, I'd I'd take extra precaution. Oh, that's nuts, man. I mean, he's already to that point where he can do that. He's already been driven that crazy in all of twenty minutes. Yeah. Where he can just be at that point. I mean, I I still would have trouble. She looks normal right now. I think. Oh, he sees the necklace. A piece of shit necklace. Just take it off. Be easier. Yeah, it'd be easier if she looked like a demon. They gotta make it. They can't make it too easy on them. Well, I guess he can uh, jump on top of her and blame it on the woods later. Oh, what are you talking about? Like, yes, uh, we found her. <laughs> it was the woods, I tell you. It was the woods. He's like, 
her asshole was dilated three inches. Like it was the woods, but thank you because. <laughs> Oh, God, I hope people are still listening. Like, God, like, this must have been a branch as thick as a fist. Oh. Branch. It's a fist. Ugh. Did you count the rings on the br- or on the tree? No, I was counting the rings on a cock. Oh, gosh. So he couldn't do it. You know, that's understandable. Couldn't. Stop. I wouldn't be able to. Dude, you can't dismember your own, you know, woman, dude. I think it would. I don't know. But at the same time, man, it's like. You, you know what these things have done, man. When you, I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past them if you buried them. They would come up. What, you heard her eyes open? Yeah, her eyes just open. Here's it. Wait. Oh, he's playing that game with him. Yeah, I know. This part always drove me nuts, dude, because you can see her, like, her nose hairs and it grossed me out, dude. I'm sorry. I don't like chicks with nose hairs, dude. Yes. <laughs> it's grody. I got, like, I got enough for the both of us, dude. I don't like chicks. Oh, that's so sick, dude. What? <laughs> you got your nipples. Do you agree, dude? Oh, look at that. It's so sick, the nostrils. No, I'm saying you got enough hair in your nipples to, you know... I know. The fashion coats for a third world country. <laughs> oh, they're longer than my penis. I personally don't like hair on girls, period. If if I had it my way, all women would, would get mandatory Brazilians. Really? Oh yeah. Brazilians. Every bit. Oh my oh my girl liked the Fran like the French did. Buckwheat in a headlock? Yeah. Well, whatever floats your boat. They got nude beaches. Not in the winter. Mm. <laughs> Home Alone reference, if anybody uh, is wondering. I'm going to feed you a whole load of mice, guys. <laughs> you should be good for the next couple weeks. I love that dude does this old school crucifix prop. It just that looks- is cool, dude. Yeah, I'd love to have that, dude. I'm going to do a local pumpkin patch at Halloween time, do all decorations out. It does. And it's a cool shot, too. Too. I mean, just throwing dirt on the camera lens. I mean, it's so simple, but it's so cool. And I, and I love how wonderfully the original one sheet represents it. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's classic. I would love to have an original one oh, sheet. I would. And we were actually talking about the the remake one sheet, which I didn't like at first. But I think they revamped it and made it red, dude. And now it actually looks pretty good. Mine it when they originally released it. I thought it was simple. It looks stupid white, dude. It, it looks it looks good red. I haven't seen it red. Yeah, it's red now, dude. Check that out. Oh god, I'm clawing up my leg, dude. Oh man, she's getting deep. <laughs> screaming like a woman, dude. Screaming like you know. Screaming like you earned that name God gave him, dude. How 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 can he not get away from that claw, dude? Oh, dude, look at, he couldn't get, okay, he had something oh. bigger than that, he had something bigger than that holding him down, he couldn't get off the floor, but now he's just lifting it up like made a paper mache now. It does look paper mache, dude. I'm saying something smaller than that was holding him down earlier, he couldn't get up on the floor. It's Ash, dude, what do you expect? Hit her in the face, don't, what's up, what's up with all the body shots? <laughs> What happened to the shotgun they were playing around with earlier? Oh, that's in the cellar, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love that she jumps, dude. Um. I love how the <laughs> head lands, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's, that's so original, though, dude. You never see that anywhere else. <laughs> the body's still moving, dude. I'm nuts, dude. You, you, oh, dude, come on. If that was your woman, you'd still have a, you'd have one last hurrah with, with no head, dude. That'd be messed up. Oh, well, well no. yeah, I'd, I'd take the head to the bathroom, dude. I wouldn't take the body. See the head? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
that reanimator dude going oral on you <laughs> which i still need to watch reanimator on blu-ray I have that still in the packaging dude and you know what? This is putting me in the mood to. Uh, I actually got quite a few retro horror flicks I have not watched yet on Blu ray that I have. And we do need to do a commentary on Reanimator because I haven't seen that in a while. You know what? It's, it's really hard to do these stupid top 10 lists, top 5 lists, but Reanimator has always been. Sometimes I say top 3, but realistically, it's probably top 5 horror flicks. Mine too, dude. And you got me into Reanimator back when we were in like ninth grade, I think. Yeah, we got each other into a lot of stuff. Still, you know, you got me into the gay sex, and you know, mm-hmm. I turn around and got you into the. I'm just kidding. Alice um, Chains. <laughs> yeah. Um, you got me into all the music. Yeah, and this this guy here got me into a lot of and most of the horror flicks, except for Hellraiser. Yeah, you you've seen that before. What hell? Oh yeah, Hellraiser still Hellraiser. As much as I love evil, you know my my the, my holy trinity. Evil Dead 2. I'd put Hellraiser in my top five. I, I always thought that Evil Dead 2 and, and Dawn of the, the original Dawn of the Dead have to be in the Holy Trinity. But you know what? I it's, it's changed, but I think officially... Actually, you know, Hellraiser is my favorite. I, I There's something awesome about the original Hellraiser, and I'd love to do a commentary to that, too. Yeah. And to me, that, to me, that changed the game. And I don't think it's ripped off like this movie is, but... It's just as, it, it, what Hellraiser has on top of Evil Dead is Hellraiser had an amazing story. No, I agree. Amazing story. And Clyde Barker's. I mean, he's he's a legend, man. He's great. There's just, I mean, and we were talking about that earlier, like our top three or four favorite horror films. And like you were just saying, you know, I told you, you know, three or four a few hours ago, but I would tell you a different three or four now, you know. That's the thing. You can't really put a put a label on any of them. You're always going to forget some. I mean. Yeah. I mean, they're going to fluctuate week to week, day to day. Easier uh, short list to give you would be um, maybe the top three horror flicks that inspired you or got you into horror. Sure. Yeah. Uh, and that, that without a doubt, would be, you know, gosh, the, I have to say some people, it is totally a horror movie, but, you know, we could either include it in the list or not include it because it's sci-fi. But Alien, mm-hmm. I love that's a total horror movie. But since it's sci-fi horror, maybe we'll kind of distance it. But that movie, Hellraiser, um, gosh, Evil Dead 2 was the first one I saw. I saw it before Evil Dead. I saw Evil Dead 2 when I was probably in sixth grade, I, we got it. My father brought it home on VHS, and I remember seeing the artwork on that VHS, the skull. Mm. I, was, what is this? I thought it was just, it was just another C movie, and uh, which it kind of is, but I had no idea what I was getting into. But it was, it was amazing. And the same thing for me uh, with Day of the Dead. I mean, I love Dawn of the Dead, but I mean, just something about Day of the Dead, like the the box art and everything. It's like hand drawn. Oh, hand drawn. But there's just something about it that I I don't know with Bob on the cover. Yeah, and I I think I think Dawn of the Dead is more a little more iconic. Dawn of the I don't know, Day of the Dead's got worse dialogue. I think it's it got is. A, inferior story, inferior actors. It is. No, I agree. It's superior effect effects and you know all that stuff at the time. But I don't know. There's something iconic. Well, I mean, Dawn of the Dead, just like this movie. It, it set up the blueprint for many movies that copied it. I mean, come on. You're locked up. You're It's stuck in a shopping mall or, or you're locked up in some kind of facility where there's zombies. I mean, that's tried and true formula. Um, just like the whole cabin in the woods. I agree. And, I mean, has there any? Has there even been any... Uh, well, because this is going to be the month of the horror films, uh, April, because we got, you know, we got Evil Egg coming out and then we have the new Rob Zombie film, Lords of Salem. Which I'm really looking forward to. It might be in limited theaters or whatever, but these are the two films that I've been most excited for the past year and a half. And, well, we we know that there's still horror films around. I know people say like horror's dead, I and mean, they're still around in the independent, and the underground. And you can get them, you know, on video or in limited release. But you know, the fact of the matter is, is God bless those we've seen been introduced to people like uh, you know Ty West and stuff like that. These great indie directors. Who are you know delivering it in that way? But but you shouldn't line, have to, dude. Mine is we love watching these movies in theaters too because we never get to. 
when's the last time you know when's the last time you got to go to a theater and watch the original Hellraiser or watch something I mean or, or Dawn of the Dead a long time and so it's it's a thrill to get something that might you know satisfy that craving in, in a theater with some popcorn and the whole shebang I agree I love this dude the clocks dude uh, Six- yeah, that's creepy man going mad going back and forth I love that sound it's like it's crashing look at it the cam- what happened to the color on his camera dude I don't know. Hey, it's still the same time, dude. Ten to six. Like <laughs> clock. I don't know. Is that supposed to be blood on his chin? It looks like. Oil. I don't know what that. Is. I thought it was tar. Look at that upside down or, shot. Or grease from the chainsaw, dude. Yeah, it's a cool shot right there. Oh, it goes over his head. That is yeah. neat. I love it. Yeah. Could be motor oil or something. I don't know. Dude, I, I could never sleep in a room that had a deer head like that just staring at me while I was laying down. And You're always going to think Evil Dead 2, dude, when he comes alive and looks at you sort of laughing, dude. Think of Evil Dead 2 when there's like little desk lamps, too. The ones that look up and down like, ah. Oh, I love that. That's probably the, one of the most iconic zoom-ins. It is. It's great. I wonder if we can see the cables pulling those more closely. I I just don't understand how no film came close to mimicking this film. I mean, they've tried, and nothing has even con- come close to it. And this budget is like nothing, dude. I mean, like, A Night of the Demons was good, too. And when I think of, like, an Evil Dead type, I think of something like that. But The Demons is definitely a good example of a movie that tried to... Not directly ripped it off. They no. Didn't run, but it's similar. You got Similar. It. Yeah. And the Demons look great in that, too. I give them credit for that. But as you were saying, people not being able to top this movie, and this one was so micro-budgeted, it all comes down to the fact that it was original and nobody had done it before. It all comes down to originality and, and new ideas, and that's what we don't have these days. I guarantee you if somebody brings – you know, I mean people could talk trash on it all they want, but it's – when the movie came out, how many people had seen like any kind of found footage type movies? You know, you can oh, say, yeah. what you, say what you will about it, but it was something different at the time. And that's 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 where it all comes from. And then, of course, we have a million bajillion movies that are doing that, and none of, none of them are any good. Well, the thing about movies nowadays, and you know, it might be true to the new Evil Dead remake, is they're too polished. In which this new Evil Dead might be, but that's just one thing that drives me crazy about films nowadays. I mean, you could tell a difference between a film that was uh, made back in the nineties. I'll which go. I just watched. It's corduroys and high dev. Sorry. Which I just watched. I'm just going to throw a movie out there. It's not horror related, but The Untouchables. You know, to a movie like, um, let's just say, the new Ryan Gosling gangster movie that just came out. Uh, um, it's just too polished, you know? It's too, you know. Everybody's filming in high def. The grain is gone. Everything, well, everything, and it just, you know, everything's pr- not practical. Of course, I mean, everything's not practical effects anymore. Everything's not, you know, everything's going to be, like, you know, computer generated and everything. But there's just such a charm to, you know, looking at something that you can actually see with your naked eye other than, like, a computer screen, you know, or, like, green screen. I don't yep. know. That's what I think idea behind it is that everything that we're looking at in a movie like this, somebody made with their bare hands. Mm-hmm. You know, somebody like you or me created this with their bare hands and it wasn't done you know, via computer and technology and graphic art. That's that's all. Like that. I love that scene where he just raises. Uh, yeah. And like I said, this new Evil Dead, the fact that it's all going to be, uh, you know, quality prosthetic effects, uh, you know, no, I mean, I, it gives me it gives me hope. No, it, it gives me hope. Yeah, I, you know, but you, you understand what I'm saying with the whole being polished and stuff like that. Only thing I don't mind, the the thing that I've warmed up to is uh, CGI blood. Oh, I love this part. I'm sorry to interrupt. 
That's awesome. Looks like freaking uh, oil paint, dude. That's so cool. Oh, that scene, that, oh, I wish I had a photograph of that on my wall, dude. Oh, <laughs> look at all, it's just, it's like a hook. Is it draining, deflating, what's going on? in the first one. What's that? The book looks horrible in the first one. Yeah. Got the goddamn necklace. Tell you what. Doesn't look like a face anymore on that book. Burnt to a crisp, dude. Roasted and toasted. Did they? I'm sorry. They do acknowledge that book as being called the Necronomicon in the videotape and the video. Do they? The audio recording or no? Yeah, this- I believe so. Yes. I. I mean, I haven't been listening to the you know dialogue, but. Oh, it's gonna come to come to use. It looks like Screech Powers in there, dude. I can't escape it. <laughs> Look at she's like shaking, dude. She's got Parkinson's, dude. Is that Michael J. Fox in there? <laughs> J. Fox, we love you. That, that, that freaking book looks like, like a grilled a, cheese sandwich, dude. It looks like the bottom of a pizza crust. Yeah. Oily pizza, dude. Some demon chomp off your leg, dude. It looks like there's no pages in there either. Like a pizza wrap, dude. It's just wrapped. Uh-huh. Yeah, there's, it looks like there's five pages in that book, dude. Yeah. It's supposed to be a big fat book. It's like, had they known all the time that all you had to do was burn the that. damn book. Yeah. Was she got Listerine on her lip, dude? You know what? Of course, you know, a lot of movies use uh, some kind of evil Necronomicon type of book as the source of all their deities, but clearly this movie is second to uh, Evil Tunes. Oh, where they God. We need, dude, we need to do a review on Evil Tunes. Dude, the book was very much similar to the uh, Necronomicon. In the, wasn't it called the Necronomicon in that yeah, as well? I think so. Had, like some weird imagery. And Carradine in it too. Yeah, killed himself. No, autoerotic exfiliation, but. River, this is what I missed. The claymation effect, dude. I missed That's it. cool, Look, dude. I mean, it that does reminds kinda, me of uh, Pee Wee's Playhouse, dude. Pee-wee's Playhouse or Tim Burton flicks. And it, it, yeah, it is like Pee Wee's Playhouse. Look at that, dude, right there. Pee Wee's Playhouse. And it does kind of take. do that though? I don't understand how they did that. It does. I mean, I have to admit, it does take you out of the movie a little bit. The cheesy like claymation, but <laughs> I don't know. But no, Evil Tunes would be a great one. Nice tits. Ooh, nice tits. Yeah, if you guys want Evil Tunes, put it up on our Facebook page. I'm that, sure. I'm sure we won't hear anybody that wants it, but there, ah, good corn. Applesauce, dude? No. Like, what oh, is that? Corn, dude. And fry. And if there's any movie that has worse acting than this movie, it's Evil Tunes. Yeah, it's horrible, dude. It's, what, three three porn stars in it? Are they porn stars? I don't know, but they're horrible actresses. River is lucky to have that on DVD. I don't own that. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that's cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that looks really good in high def, dude. Yeah, it looks, it's really colorful, really nice. Yeah, I wish I would watch that on Blu-ray right now. Oh, these monsters are made out of Play-Doh. Yeah. I hate bugs. I got a snake, a dead snake sitting there. That's funny. That's so funny, dude, because you could, you could, the roaches are crawling backwards. The roaches are crawling backwards when that stuff's going reverse. <laughs> I know, dude. It's like blue and yellow acid, dude. Uh, they reversed the videotape and the roaches were crawling backwards. <laughs> They're demonic roaches. You never know. They're moonwalking roaches, you could say. Ah. Uh.
Oh, he's had a he's had a shitty night. Yes, he has, Roldy. God, you can just tell that blood looks so fake, dude. That's corn, you know, corn syrup. Yeah. It's beating up that, you know, that much. So you don't see any obvious lacerations that they came from. No. Granted, most of that blood was spitting at him from other things, but that's true. But still, that on the the people that were killed earlier. I love this music, dude. It's so uh, like sound of music. It reminds me of Little House on the Prairie music, dude. Yeah, it's not even like a horror movie. It's like Little House on the Prairie. I agree. What? Those oh, that shapes through those holes. I in know the door. perfectly. You know, perfect holes in the door. Sorry, excuse me. I'd Barney Gumble. I love it. It's like morning comes, it's all over. He all this stuff stops perfectly at morning time. <laughs> all the birds are singing. It's the complete opposite. I'm like, wow, what a night. What is he gonna tell everybody? That's what he's thinking. If he had somebody there, that's exactly what he'd be telling him. Like, what are we going to tell everybody? Probably put a gun in my mouth. I wouldn't. <laughs> I know. The lights up there, dude. They're still up there. They're still... I know. Uh oh. Yeah. Comes the two by four on the camera. Ash is going to get sodomized. But I don't get it. They burn the book. They burn the book, but they don't burn the spirits. The sense. coming, Ash. The coming. <laughs> That's such a cool ending, though. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. I love this. The friggin' old time, you know. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this, man. I forgot about this ending. That's cool. <laughs> Hell, man. Sit here through all the credits. Tim Fillo, T Tom Tom Sullivan, Bart Pierce. Maybe we could just, you know, kind of give a... We'll just chat about it while the credits are rolling. Why not? Um, like I said, this is my favorite Evil Dead. And uh, I hope we need to do Evil Dead 2 and Army of Darkness. I agree with you on that. And, you know, this should be a, a campaign... Leading up until they release the movie, I think we got. Well, when's the movie come out? April fifth. So we got what? Two weeks? The yes. two weeks? You know what? Maybe we. Oh gosh, I don't know if we could put up three of these. We, I know we could record three of these guys. Can we put up three of these guys before then? We'll see. We should be able to. Joel Cohen. That's got to be. That is. That is the famous Cohen, because Sam Raimi was roommates with um, the Cohens. Oh okay. In college, he was roommates with the Cohens. He was roommates with Kathy Bates. Um. Francis Dormant, who also is in the Coen Brothers movies a lot. She's a mainstay in all those movies. But there is all those ties there, so that's interesting to point out. Now, look at the short credits, dude. I forgot. It's a very small budget film. Oh, yeah. Fantastic film. We hope to do more of these. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed our you know, useless banter. Yeah, Maybe Five Skulls. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed the commentary. Five. We'll do more. One of these days, uh, Joe Bob Briggs will come on and do one of these with us. Or five masks. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know we're not not five skulls. That's Joe Bob. We'll get yeah, us on. The, but uh, five masks. Yeah, we don't want to get sued. Heck yeah, man! When this bad boy goes up on the new site, you best you best give it five masks. Give it some masks. I don't know. Give it no masks. I don't care as long as you you know check out the website. I'm I'm good. Yeah, but, behind the mask presents dot com, and uh, we'll be back. So uh, this is Riverman. And it's Goose. And we'll see you guys next time.